In our daily lives, we often find ourselves grappling with emotions we believe we shouldn't be feeling. But what if I told you that these emotions aren't just all in our head? In my office, people often talk to me about how they shouldn't be feeling something, basically judging themselves for what they are actually feeling. They often don't understand how a psychological experience creates a physical experience in their physical body thinking that the two are always separate, but the reality is emotions and thoughts are physical experiences. And as a result of having an emotional experience or having a thought, we create physical changes in the body. From there, it is a natural progression that the physical sensations that we feel in our bodies, if we have enough of them, we're gonna end up with either health or disease. Emotions and thoughts are more than just abstract concepts. The phys phys or psychological experiences we have are physical in our body and our physical experiences are psychological. Emotions and thoughts have a profound impact on our physical well-being, even when we think that they might not be related. When we experience emotions or have certain thoughts, our bodies respond with a physical change. This connection between the mind and body is undeniable. And many in my field, we don't even call them things, separate things. Let's take the experience of trauma. Trauma dysregulates a nervous system, sending it into overdrive and causing it to either be way stressed out and too rigid or really collapsed. And in this dysregulation experience, many of us seek out numbing behaviors, hoping to find relief. But those behaviors usually only offer us temporary respite and fail to address the root cause of our nervous system dysregulation. So over time, that nervous system dysregulation takes a toll on our physical health. And we may experience a range of symptoms from digestive issues to cognitive impairments, joint pain, other experiences emotionally that might feel really dysregulated and beyond our control. Let's take a trauma experience, for example. It disrupts our nervous system's regulation, sending it into overdrive or even causing it to shut down and collapse on us. In response to this dysregulation, many of us seek out numbing behaviors, alcohol, drugs, shopping, TV, but these behaviors only offer us temporary respite, failing to address the root cause of the trauma that we experienced. Over time, this dysregulation in our nervous system takes its toll on our physical health. And we may experience a range of symptoms from dysregulated emotions to digestive issues to cognitive impairments. Furthermore, the effects of dysregulation in our nervous system extend beyond just me, myself, and I, infecting my entire community around me. Because as mammals, we co-regulate. And so we are always shaping each other's experiences and influencing our collective well-being. But there is hope for us. Because if we prioritize our physical and our mental health and our nervous system needs, we can foster holistic well-being by using things like rest, restorative connection, nutritious food, regular exercise, good sleep, good hydration. These are essential components for us to be able to take care of ourselves and they're essential components of self-care. So if we can embrace taking care of our psychological and physiological health, health together, that there is a profound unity between what we think and feel and how our physical system operates. We can cultivate resilience and thrive in every aspect of our lives. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy learning about how our physiology and our psychology are tied together and the different things that we can do to impact both for our best health, please check us out at studiob.life. It's our integrative psychology clinic where we blend psychology services right alongside movement and meal interventions to make sure that we are programming your life to help you create the life that you want and become the best version of yourself that you can be. If you wanna learn more about me, check me out at stacyrd.com. If you are interested in getting started, and really taking ownership of your health and wellness, both psychologically and physiologically, check us out online and check out some of the programs that we have. We are here to help you. Our professionals are amazing. They are wonderful providers. They have so much experience and so much care and love for the work that they do. And our personal trainers as well love meeting with their clients, building them movement and meal plans, helping them make sure that they are taking full ownership of their health and wellness. And 
staying accountable and inspired to make those changes happen in their lives. So if you want to join us, come Studio B with us. Be well.